Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Janisha Stanley again. Today, I'm going to review this book, What Are the Ten Commandments? This book was written by Jonas Aldous McDonough and illustrated by Tim Foley. This book has 108 pages and 12 chapters. So, what is the book all about? Well, this book is about Moses and the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments are these stone tablets as shown on the front cover. So before we learn about the Ten Commandments, let's go back in time to find out what happened exactly before the Ten Commandments were made. So the Israelites were actually slaves in Egypt. So how that happened is that their main ancestor, Jacob, named Israel by God, went there along with his sons. His, one of his sons, Joseph, was sent there to be a slave. So then they multiplied and had many, many, many kids. After a few hundred years, there were hundreds of thousands of Israelites. It wasn't really pretty for the sight of Pharaoh. He didn't like it. So Pharaoh decided to enslave the Israelites. They made them do super hard labor. There was one family that did something to avoid the, the new law of what would happen to their son. Every newborn baby boy that is in an Israelite family should be drowned in the Nile River. One family tried to prevent that, so she fixed up a basket and, and let the baby go in the river inside the basket. The Egyptian princess, or Pharaoh's daughter, came walking over the Nile to take a bath. She, she saw a mysterious basket floating around, and that was the one with the baby. So she decided to adopt the child. She named him Moses. Moses means drawn out because Moses was drawn out of the Nile River. So once Moses was a young adult, he knew he was an, an Israelite. So what happened was he was just standing by and watching an Egyptian slave master be an Israelite, one of his people. So what Moses did is he snuck up on that man, tried to fight it, and then struck him down and killed him. He buried his body, the slave master's body, in the sand and let the Israelite run free without hiding. Some people saw the murder and then told Pharaoh instantly. So what happened to that is that Pharaoh wanted his guards to track Moses down and kill him. So Moses had to flee to Midian. It was a safe distance away from Egypt. So. Moses was a shepherd tending his flock of sheep. So once he was just standing there and saw the bush on fire, but somehow he had no idea why it wasn't burning up. He heard a voice, Moses. It was God. Moses, tell Pharaoh to let my people go. So Moses and Aaron met up and went to the fair. Aaron said, the God of Israel says, let my people go. Pharaoh's like, whatever. Who is this God? I do not know him. Why do I have to obey him? So Pharaoh just said, no. Then there had to come 10 horrible plagues. The first one, Aaron struck the Nile River. It turned to blood. Nobody could bathe. Nobody could drink water. And it smelled terrible. The second plague. Frogs. Aaron struck the river once again, but instead of turning to blood, thousands of frogs jumped up over their banks and into every city. Then it just swarmed over everything. The third one, lice. Every Egyptian had to scratch, scratch, scratch that horrible itch away. Fourth, horrible dirty flies. They were everywhere. They made all the Egyptians sick. The fifth one, all the cattle in Egypt died. Six, the Egyptians became covered in sores. Seven, a humongous hailstorm. Eight, locusts invaded their fields, eating everything that was growing away. Ninth, three solid days of darkness. And now the tenth, the most important and the worst by far. It's all because all there will be a death of every firstborn male child in an Egyptian home. The Israelites had to smear lamb's blood on their doors so their children would be spared. So because of all the deaths, even Pharaoh's own firstborn male child was not spared. He started crying, he started weeping. So he called Moses and said, 
take everybody that's an Israelite away. I don't want any more Israelites in Egypt. So they all left after 400 years of slaves. So once Moses and Aaron got all the Israelites out of Egypt and they crossed the Red Sea, they had to wander around 40 years. Ugh, that would be exhausting if I was there. If I was one of those Israelites, I'd complain. Why do we have to be out here for so long? Why, why? I totally faint from the heat. Ugh, I don't really like that feeling at all. So one time, the Israelites stopped and set up camp. Moses went up to Mount Sinai so God could give him the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments were written on stone tablets. As you saw on the front cover, they had certain words on them. The Ten Commandments is also referred to as the Decalogue, which means ten words. I will read the Ten Commandments for you. You shall worship no other God but me, meaning you should not worship no other God but the God that uh, the God Almighty. Second, you shall not make any statue or picture to worship, meaning you should not worship any statues like the Egyptians. You, you shall speak the name of the Lord with reverence. I think that should be, do not use the name of the Lord your God in bad ways, like swearing with, the, with God. I don't think that's a good idea because it really isn't a good idea at all. You shall keep the Sabbath as a holy day of rest. Like how in the Bible, it says on the seventh day that God reserved that day for rest. It's exactly what everyone should have at a day off from work and school. The next one is, you shall show respect to your father and mother. That means respect your parents. They were the ones that gave life to you and always take care of them when they are old. The next one is, you shall not commit murder. Never ever kill others. The next one, is you shall be faithful to your husband or wife. This is for adults, so I'm gonna skip it. The next one is, you shall not steal. Don't steal things from others, even if you're jealous of them. The next one is, you shall not speak falsely against others. Do not frame somebody else for something they haven't done. The last commandment is, you shall not envy another person's possessions. Envy means jealous, so do not get jealous over another person's things. Even if you feel jealous, try to control it. So I'm gonna show you just one thing. Look, this is a $5 bill, as you can already see, but there is something if you look deeper. There are these words, the US national motto, in God we trust. That refers to the first commandment. You shall worship no other God than me. That means just one God. So everybody, go and read this book to learn more about the Ten Commandments and the true story of the Israelites. Friends, thanks for watching my videos. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned in on my new videos. I'll fly over to my next video. See you there.